Hey guys, what's up? It's the Piggy Bank here, your favorite casual gaming podcast with your casual gaming buds. I'm Phil. I'll be your host for this wonderful show here with my casual gaming buds. We have Connor Elliott. Drinking seltzer. <laughs> and we have Tavin Waffle, the original seltzer hater. Uh, but but reformed. Connor, I don't know how you drink reformed. those and not get not not get the uh, the burpees when when talking. I don't know what it is, but I get really burpy. So I I've just yes. I've had to make the decision when recording, just regular water. That's it. I've I am impressive in the sense that when it comes to carbonation, I am able to turn on and off my ability to burp at will. I don't burp just because I'm uncontrollable. I burp because I want to. Now, granted, this is a casual video game podcast, and we will get to talking about video games here real shortly. But gentlemen, I have embarked on an adventure. And Phil, if you've been paying attention to certain YouTube channels that we both follow, uh, you will probably be able to guess this. But I have begun watching the Saw movies. Hmm. Uh, I've watched the first two so far. And let me tell you what. A lot of fun, these first two movies. I know for a fact, eventually, it's going to fall off and turn into god-awful movies and, and just a trash franchise. Uh, I hear it's about the fourth one. Like, one through three are fun, is what I hear. And I'll stand by it. One and two, really, really fun. Really, really fun. Three, three is when you start to see signs. Oh, no. I was hoping three was um, going to be the best. No. <laughs> I think no. two's the best. So far, I agree two is the best. One had a better twist ending. Mm. In my opinion. Um, yep. Three is where that. you start to see signs that's still good. Um, but then then it starts to really uh yeah i i assume it it, it falls fast and and furiously <laughs> yes um and so that's um, that's upsetting but i'll say as far as the first two go it's a better start to a franchise than fast and furious had and i think these two yeah. franchises you know kind of have you know some similarities to them early 2000s I think, uh, uh, made for the cheap donnie donnie Wahlberg is is the main character in the second one he is, yeah. Did not know Donnie Wahlberg as a, as a person until uh, until I watched that movie, and I was like, oh, this is a uh, one of the Wahlberg brothers. Okay, you like Wahlbergers? He did. I love uh, Wahlbergers. He did okay in that movie. Yeah. Well, have you guys Very seen angry. that? Have you, oh, I, sure. I know this is like generic as hell, uh, but have you seen The Mist? No. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. No, yeah, I haven't it's seen amazing. The Mist is so good. You yeah. would love that, Tim. I probably one. would. It's one of those things, like like the first Saw movie, I know how it ends. And I knew how the first Saw one ended as well. Oh. But there was, like, enough twists and turns along the way that it was still was, in like, engaging and entertaining. Uh, but The yeah. Mist, I feel like I already know the ending. So it's like, all right, well. That's one of those things that you really, if you're spoiled on it, that's 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 tough. Yeah. 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 If you haven't seen The Mist and you don't know what happens, absolutely watch that movie. But I also think, like, even if you've seen, if you've, like, for Saw, at least the first one, if you know the ending, the build-up to it is still so good. Just seeing how we get there is worth the mm -hmm. ride, you know? Even though awful acting performances in that first movie. Holy mm -hmm. shit, they're bad. Oh, my God, they're so game bad. Game over. Oh, yeah, that was great. That was such a good game over. Fucking, ah. Oh, it was that's so my, good. That's, that's my favorite recurring yeah. gag. Yeah, that's a, it's a good one. Game it's over. a good one. I love the, the I love the whole. Do you want to play a game? Uh, theme. Yep. Or, but anyway, uh, mo yeah, mo like you said earlier, this is of course our casual video game podcast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and boys, let me tell you, I've been playing some games. Um, I've unfortunately, I was telling, I was kind of texting back and forth with Tavin uh, the other day, um, just about uh, Sea of Stars and how much fun that game is, and how. Uh, Neither of us are sure we're going to roll credits on Armored Core anymore. Yeah, I mean, I'd really like to, because I do really like the gameplay loop in Armored Core, but there's yeah. just so many game releases, like... And at this point, I'm fairly certain that I'm not going... Starfield is not going to be for me, is is mm -hmm. kind of where I'm at right now. Um, but, you know, between Baldur's Gate 3, and I want to I wanna play Lies of P, and now I'm playing Starfield... Uh, I'm sorry, Sea of Stars... Which, Connor, let, let's go ahead and break this down. If you're not paying attention to Sea of Stars, my friend, uh, you need to. And it, this is probably be the only opportunity we have to talk about it. Sea of Stars is fucking good. Like, Oh, I'm phenomenal. Yeah. yeah uh, it, I actually had a friend who recommended it to me, who hasn't played it, I don't think, himself. But Connor, I, you I need, do want to play that game a lot. You need to play this game. This is a you game. Does a great job, it does a great job of blending in the satisfying turn base, but also, like, you have to pay attention so like yeah. what you're doing you can't just you can't just spam the a button and do the same thing over and over you have to choose your attacks wisely you have to 
choose that targets time. correctly. There's like a there's a the system in there where um, an enemy will have like a charged attack that lasts a few turns. So you have to hit them with a certain type of damage to cancel that attack. Yeah, it's yeah, really I, really good. It's really engaging. It's really satisfying, and it's a lot of fun. There's also some some pretty like funny jokes in it that I've that I've uh, heard. Not heard, but because they don't talk. But you know, it's text based. Uh, it's really good writing so far. I, yeah, I'll also I, say um, they uh, just to keep. I'm sorry, Connor. Go ahead. Actually. Oh yeah, I just I've had my eye on this game before the sale ends on Steam or on PlayStation, whatever. I'm gonna be getting it. Yeah, I'm playing it on Switch right now. And uh, I'll, I'll say, like, to, to the, the sort of counter, because turn-based RPGs get, like, sort of uh, a bad rap uh, of, like, kind of being boring or having, like, sor sort of boring combat or repetitive combat. I think Sea of Stars does a decent job of kind of getting around this by having sort of an active uh, role that the player has to play where, like, you don't need to do it, but, man, fights are going to be a lot easier if you, uh, if you engage in the systems that I'm about to talk about, which is, like... Um, there are certain abilities that you have that require you to like charge it up. And so like, it'll be like a fireball and you hold the button, you charge it and it shoots a bigger fireball. Um, there's, uh, one of the characters has a boomerang ability where oh, like dude. you throw it out, it comes back, you hit the button, you time it right. And, and, uh, you just keep bouncing it as long as you can keep the timing up. And, um, every normal attack you do, you can hit the button and, uh, it'll do extra damage if you time it right, there's a block you can do. So when an enemy runs up and attacks you, you can do a quick block to sort of mitigate the damage taken and so forth. These are all systems you don't have to engage in, but it does make it more... It, it, it almost, like, broke my brain at first because I'm so used to these games like, all right, I move, and then I turn my brain off while the, while the enemy moves. All right, now brain back on. And it's like, oh, wait, no, I have to stay engaged the whole time in order to You're maximize, yeah. maximize my, uh, my proficiency in this, which is really good. I'll say, Shining Star of sea of stars music by far music uh -huh. music is so good music it's is deep. so good what an rpg of this kind of kind needs to have and more jrpg inspired ones is a good soundtrack that is like a staple oh, yeah. of old jrpgs and it deserves to be of uh, of course all games should have a good soundtrack but yes. particularly rpgs it's a high point connor yeah. i'm early on and i i'm i'm hesitant to say but i think this will be like top 10 contender for video game soundtracks like nice. the music is so good in this and it's immediately identifiable i was i was listening i was watching uh the uh the completionist video on it and i didn't make it very far but they played like the main theme of the game that you get to hear really really early and i was i immediately was like oh god i love that song and the fact mm -hmm. that like yep. i'm only like three hours in and the fact that i was able to identify it that quickly and have so much reverence for it already tells me that oh man this game is this game is special the only thing that i'm like the only thing that like it's gonna probably rank pretty high and i'm feeling this way immediately like i'm three hours in but it's yep. probably gonna rank pretty high in my top 10 list if the writing and the story deliver it dude it might be game of the year mm -hmm. like well it's fucking good. Got three guys but i i can <laughs> i can i can easily accept that from what i've been hearing about it it's um, fucking uh, good yeah go okay, about, it. about that boomerang uh, thing. What if I told you, Tavin, that there was a trophy for Sea of Stars on PlayStation to get that 25 times in a row? Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, the, the hitting on the enemy count or only just yourself? I think it's it's get the timing right 25, 25 times, times in a row. That's fucking hard. That is That's, hard. I, it, I think I've gotten to like 15. Oh, I, I, I've gotten to maybe 8. Like maybe. Yeah. You know? It's tough. It's tough. Yeah. I'm also not fighting enemies with, like, big health bars, so... Um, mm -hmm. As of well, right I mean, now, at it'll, least. It'll, it'll continuously hit them, even over even if it's enough damage. Oh, you're right. You're right. That is how that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Um, but, yeah. Uh, sea of Stars is a, a banger. Everybody should go it play it. It is a banger. Everybody, Sleeper go hit. Go play it. For sure. Um, it just sucks that it's in between Starfield, Baldur's Gate, and Armored Core. Like, goddamn. <laughs> Scooped up that game uh, with a bit of one dollar. One dollar in Fantasy Critic. Yep. Oh, oh, in Fantasy Critic. I see what you're saying. Are you playing it via uh, PlayStation Extra? Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what I thought you were doing. I, j I just went and grabbed it on Switch. Um, I could see myself uh, like if 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 I feel the urge to like play more of it, uh, I might pick it up on Switch. But I'm at the point where like. I'm far enough to where it's like I don't I'm not feeling like starting over 
Yeah. You know? Um, I think I'm roughly six or seven hours in. Um, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Far, not that far ahead of me at all. Yeah. I did a lot of, most of my playing I did last night and I was, mm. I was hooked. It was, it's so good. It really is just yeah, so good. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of sticking with like the, my current like on the go game is still Pikmin 4, uh, which is really fun. Uh, I've, I recently did a couple of, they call them Dandori battles, which is like you basically battle to see who's better at like efficiently using their Pikmin uh, at get, making them gather certain resources and making them uh, do certain things and attacking whoever's most efficient and i wipe the floor with these fucking this, this is a baby game <laughs> uh, really no, it's I, really fun there was a one really hard one that was that was that listen I man baby games are fun getting. baby games are fun yeah. man shout out disney I, illusion I, island that game is fun dude i look at pikmin and i think to myself this can't possibly be a childlike game <laughs> i'm surprised at that phil that shocks me to my core your sarcasm only fuels me connor <laughs> um anyway yeah. but i do feel i feel games. so bad for armored core i want to go back to it Dude, so bad it's so fun too. it's i really so do fun mm. i just i, I don't I, know when this i hit this wall uh with this boss that i just wasn't getting around um and i'm like i have to rethink my entire build for this mission mm. fuck and I'm, I'm not in the mood for like you got to start replaying other levels, grind out some things to right. buy some new attachments. Yeah. Yes. And it's yeah. like, oh man, as much as fun as this loop is, I want, um, I, feel I want like to feel I, like I'm making progress. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I gotta, uh, I'll post a photo in our chat of uh, kind of what <laughs> made me want to get back into the game because I'm similar to you guys. There's just so much to do. Man. So many things. Baldur's man. Gate 3, Starfield right around the corner, which unfortunately I am kind of feeling disappointed in that from what I'm hearing. Like 20 to 30 hours to get to the real meat of it. I got so many other things to do, man. Yeah. yeah, there's too many other games and too many great games. And for this to just yeah. be another Bethesda title, even if it's great yeah. as a Bethesda title, we don't have time for that. I do like my Bethesda games. Me too. Me too. I do, I do as well. I fucking I replayed in Platinum Skyrim this year. Twice, oh. yeah. <laughs> Was it twice or did um, I do it last year? I thought I did the PS4 version last year. No, you did the PS4 version this year. And the PS5? After... Fuck! Yeah. You did um you did it after you did uh Dead Space in uh last Ah, uh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Dead Space, what a game, man. <laughs> uh we maybe we'll play that on the, 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 game, uh, the game club. <laughs> still still <laughs> ranking high in my uh in my uh top 10. Oh, you put it in the in the uh two penny games Discord that everybody can join. Yeah, might as well. Fuck <laughs> <Fucking laughs> hell. <laughs> That's like what it's like in the game. I, I need cock 621. <laughs> Come on, 621. Give it to That's me. That's fucking funny. <laughs> G5, Gun 5, Iguazu, fucking kill yourself. <laughs> I'll also say, uh, I did, like, in the rev in the impression slash review and progress video that we did for Armored Core 6, um, I did what I said I would do, and I, I built my mech to look like Spider-Man, the PS4 yeah. Spider-Man, and he's a thing of beauty, man. Let me tell you what. Sexy it, it as can really be. looks really good. Oh, he's really good. Too. Good. And I put a bunch of Easter eggs in on it where, like, um, he's got AF-15 on his shoulder for Amazing Fantasy 15. He's got uh, 10 I'm not going to lie. Tavin, real quick. Yeah. Uh, when, whenever you showed that part of his shoulder, I read it as A1F5. Yeah, I, I know. I, I It just it aesthetically looked better the way I built it as opposed to doing the, the other way around. Yeah. Like, I like it aesthetically like how A1F5. It yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, but and then I did 1048 on his arm, which is the universe of Insomniac Spider-Man. I put the Insomniac logo on his back and I built a beautiful white spider. Uh, and I stuck that bitch right on the chest where it belongs. Oh, man, he's sexy. I love it. Yeah, you did a really good job. I, Thank I, you. I'm not even going to lie. It looks it looks phenomenal. Thank good you. Good job, Kevin. Um, Took me three hours. But, <laughs> you, were, you were you were on that for a while. You were yeah. on that for a while. Yeah, yeah. It took a long time. Spider took the longest. The spider was hard. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, save for that sure. preset. Oh, I have. Yeah, yeah. I have. I, and and yeah. whenever I get to the point to where I can like copy the code or whatever and and upload the code, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Hell yeah! yeah. Hell yeah! Um, well, anyway, boys, uh, we like to play mini games on this show. Um, last two mini games for myself were really in depth and I needed a lot of extra work this week for me. Not so much. We're doing a hit 10. I want to go first. Okay. We're doing, uh, from the top tens, we're doing the top 10 best video game controllers. Mm. 
Mm. Hit 10, as the people know. Uh, we find a top 10 list somewhere on the internet, and uh, each number on the list is associated with points. Number 1 is worth 10 points. Number 10 is worth 1 point, and then everything in between is in first, as so. Uh, yep. Top 10s is a website we found that has just a huge conglomerate of random top 10 lists voted upon by the internet, so there's not a lot of thinking going on in it. <laughs> so... No. Uh, right. Uh, we have found some atrocious lists. We have found some gorgeous lists. And then we found some just really good entertaining lists. And, you know, and everything me, in between. Let me tell you, this list, I have some opinions on. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. So uh, uh, what, is, what is the title of the list again? Top 10 Best Video Game Controllers. The Best Video Game Controllers. Okay. Of all time. Sorry. Of all time. Top 10 Best Video Game Controllers of all time. Okay. Well, that makes it complicated. Um... And it being the internet. Um, yes, of course. Uh, we're going to start this week. Connor is going to go first. Uh, we go back and forth. Uh, each of you gets a possible five guesses to try to clear out this. Get. Uh, we're going to go through five rounds. Uh, five guesses to try to clear out this list. So five guesses each. Um, if you don't get one that's in the top ten, you don't get any points. To have explained the scoring system earlier. Gentlemen, are we ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Connor, say the PS3 mm -hmm. controller. Oh, let's no. go ahead and get started with you. You were going first. Okay. Let's go. Best controllers. Best con let's go with the GameCube controller. Mm. Connor, appeasing the masses because that is the number one answer. The Fuck, GameCube really? Controller. Yeah. In you guys opinion, need to grow up. Yeah, in my opinion, that isn't. I mean, it's a great controller. I'd say definitely top five. It's good um, for its yeah. time. Not the number. Not the number one. In, my, in my eyes. A great, uh, a great controller that'll, that'll, should be one that you can use no matter what era of gaming you're playing. The GameCube sure, can only sure. work for that era. And Wii. Yeah, that era and Wii. Yeah, yeah. And Switch to some games. To some games, but even then you're forcing still it. Not, still not great. Uh, at that point, just give me give me a different controller. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Connor, of course, since that's the number one answer, that does net you 10 points. Good, good, good start. Now, of course, the greatest controller of all time is, in fact, the Dual Seat, the Dual Sense Edge, Elite Edge. <laughs> no, a Dual Sense Edge. That's what it's called. But of course, that's not going to be on it. It's one too niche and two too new. I'm going to go for a classic. I'm going to go for the PlayStation Two. PlayStation Two controller the tab. Dual Shock Two. The Dual Shock Two is our number nine answer. Fucking tragic. You internet needs to grow the fuck up. Nah, fuck it's not that up. good. It's not that That's good. Tragic. It's good. But it, it's like the unrefined version of what my second pick will be, mm -hmm. which is the PS4 controller. God damn it. Yeah, that's the, yeah, the, that's the better one. The PS4 controller mm -hmm. is the number two answer. God damn. Look at that. I just know what's a good controller, I guess. Apparently. Jesus Christ. Kevin, with the number nine answer last round, you got two points. Connor now has 19 to your two points yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so so here's the thing is, is when he said gamecube and when gamecube was number one that that made me think oh okay these are a bunch of oldies from our generation of gamers who think who think sure. things were better back then and clearly this is not the case because connor's right the dualshock 4 is an amazing piece of technology fantastic not as, as the, not, 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 in my eyes not as good as the dual sense and also in my eyes not not as good as a as a as a different controller so, and that, mm. that puts me between, I'm between two controllers right now. And I'm going to, bum, bum, bum. I know it's so hard. It's so hard. Fuck it. Give me the dual sense, the PlayStation five. Kevin, unfortunately the dual sense oh, is God not on the top 10. It. God damn it. God damn it. This Which is, is fucking ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Dual sense is the best controller. It's 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 high, very high quality. You're right, but Tavin, the, it's not number one. It's at least top three. The proper answer for your next one was the Xbox 360. Ah, I, I knew it. That was the one I was bouncing between. Yeah. Connor's three for three. That is the number three answer. Fuck! Look at that. I think I've won. <laughs> it, it, you haven't won, but it's very hard to come back. Yeah. Connor now. Has Twenty-seven points. Twenty-six. 20, yeah, 27 points to Tavin's two. 
Listen, it's a rough time out here, guys. It's it's real rough out here, man. We uh we tried to go we tried to go for the old head, we tried to go for the new head, and we we flopped both times here. Is really what is really what happened. So now there's a logic there. The dual sense is the greatest controller ever made. <laughs> so that's the logic. The PS2 is always talked about on the internet as the greatest controller ever, even though it's not the greatest console. I don't know about controller. No, nah, I hear I hear talk about the PS2 controller all the time. PS2 had a great controller. I, that, it's a good controller, but it's not it's not that good. It was it was great. It was great. We got better once we figured out how to do triggers a little better. Undeniably, the 360 changed the game with the controller or with the triggers. No. Um, I'm gonna go, and now it's just like fucking. All right, which one? Where does the rest of this list lie? You know, is there a bunch of old heads putting a bunch of the oldie controllers on there, or is there some new shit, or is there somewhere in between? And now, I'll be honest, I'm looking at the, uh, the offerings of the one Nintendo Switch. Is what I'm yeah. looking at now, and it's it's which uh -huh. one? You know, it's sure. which one? Is it the one that comes with the console or is it the one that you should play on if you're you know not an, idiot. an adult yeah an adult and uh i'm gonna shoot in the dark and pray i'm gonna pray that this is correct nope i'm i'm pivoting at the last second i'm gonna go joy con yep having the joy cons are not on the top 10 what the fuck it's the that's fucking the crazy no see it, it would be on the list i think if it wasn't for the drifting problem mm. that kills it yeah, it's just but a, it's like a core core issue. The versatility of the Joy-Cons, yeah, yeah. very nice. Is but beautiful. every other controller on this list doesn't have a like built-in issue where it just starts failing after a while. Fuck. Yeah. All right. Good guess. I mean, the stick the stick on the GameCube. If you if you do the thing, it would tear up your palm. But you know. Ah well, I didn't do that. Mine was always pristine. There's also I, only I, certain I GameCube game controllers. controllers with respect. Mm. No, I mean every single one that I've ever had. Because some of them right, had the had the like the concave thing that you're talking about, yeah. Uh, but like you could get like convex ones that had like soft rubber ni uh, nipples. <laughs> no, mine. I mean, mine was nipples, <laughs> uh, not concave. So, okay, well, mine was a little was... bump. Connor, do your fourth pick. Uh, let's go with the Xbox One controller. The Xbox One controller is number seven on the list. Let me say it Which right one? fucking now. There we go. Four. Let me say it right fucking now. The Xbox One controller is an awful controller. It sucks. It, oh, it feels like a toy. It, it's too plasticky. The bumpers, loud as shit. The triggers, too soft. Doesn't feel tactile enough. Buttons suck. It's a bad controller. Much sticks, better. The DualSense is amazing. I like the okay. offset stick. I like offset sticks more. But the way the sticks feel, how it feels to move those sticks, doesn't feel as good as any PlayStation controller. I hate the Xbox One controller. Putting it out there. Oh. Um, let me go with one that I think is a classic and should be on this list. And if it's not, that's atrocious uh, and disrespectful to the legends. Uh, I'm going to go with the Super Nintendo Entertainment System controller, mm -hmm. SNES. Super Nintendo Tavern is our number five answer that's respectable that's a respectable place for that to that to be six points there to tavin bringing him to total of seven eight come on now simple math seven two plus eight or two plus six. Oh, you're right yes i am yeah uh sorry eight two plus six yep. fucking total of eight God to to damn. connor's i don't even i lost count it's over 30 Listen, mm. Connor's at 31. I know Connor usually just flops real hard in these hit games. He does. He usually does, all right? But we don't need he's to give been, him any more edge. He's been on it the past few times we've played. He's right. been he on. has. He has. Uh, this, this week and last week, he's, he's on it, you know? But let's see how he does in my hit 10 game. That's a hint for what's coming later. All right. Well, all that matters right now is this one, and I'm going to go with the uh, unique uh, Nintendo Wii controllers. Absolutely the Nintendo insane. Wii Absolutely Remote insane. is our number six answer. You're fucking lying to me. What? Uh -huh. Yep. The Nintendo what? Wii Remote it changed. is number Tabby, six. Do you remember how impactful that was back when the Wii released? Everyone talked about it. It was like a cultural icon at that point. Yeah, and you notice how no other console copied it in any way? Because it the sucks. The PlayStation exactly copied it, and it failed. 
oh, yeah, PlayStation, PlayStation Move. The well, with the them. Move yeah. controllers, yeah, but like and then Connect tried to do their own. Everyone tried to like go off how much people liked the Wii controllers and failed. Wii was the only one to no, do it. No, people right. liked the movement of the Wii. We didn't like the Wii controller. The Wii controller but sucked. Everyone hated it. The synonymous though. You can't have one. They just the like other. playing Just Dance. It's a bunch of fucking grandmas out here. God. We no 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 no. We sports. Let's be honest here. We sports. sports. Yeah. Fucking Christ. That's a, that's atrocious. That's an atrocious offering. This list sucks. All right, Tavin, hit us with your last guess, my friend. You have one more opportunity so far. I'll, let me let me let me say. Connor has has gotten the number one answer with the GameCube, the number two answer with the control with the play, PS4 controller, number three answer with the 360 controller, the number six answer with the Wii remote, and the number seven with the Xbox One controller. And he also wait, did you? I got nine and five. Yes. Okay. So on the board should be four and eight. Four and eight. Yep. Eight and ten. Four, eight, and ten. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna shoot for the stars. The second best controller that's on the market right now is the Nintendo Switch Pro. The Nintendo Switch Pro controller is our number eight offering. That'll net you three points. Stupid fucking kid. <laughs> All right. So, hmm, can you can you can you can you tell us our scores there there, Tavin? Can you can you? Uh, tell us well, how, Connor, how we yeah, Connor demolished me. Uh, thirty six to eleven. Me having the eleven points there. Uh, yeah. So yeah, Connor, you whooped my ass that 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 round. Congratulations All to right. you, sir. Any 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 other guesses as to what other controllers are on this top ten list? N sixty four. That's a bad controller, but it's iconic. So I guess N64 if we're doing four is is not in the top ten. That's number twelve. That's nuts. Um, the Dual Sense. Yes, I'll say the Dual Sense is all the way down in fucking twenty eight ridiculous you can't name 10 controllers better than dual sense let alone the the, the two 20. the two that are below that are below the P ps5 dual sense super fam of com controller and the nintendo switch joy con why are we it's, underrating the joy con so goddamn much the joy con's a good controller it, it, it listen it joy con little small for my liking doesn't fit too comfortably in the hands sure but the versatility of that bad boy it's a good ass controller Dude. Anyways, number 22 is keyboard and mouse as it fucking should be as it um, fucking should be again. Kind of, I'll say kind of, it. Do you have any, if you okay. play games on a keyboard and mouse, you're a fucking disgrace to humanity. That's not how video games were meant to be played. You fucking cretin. Tab is upset. People like be gross little basement dwellers sitting yeah, inside people. begging their mom for more hot Cheetos and Mountain Dew fucking grow up. Gaming's good. Play with a Joy-Con. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> um, Connor, do you have any other guesses as to what other controllers are on this list? Not at all. All right. So number uh, ten. Well, I've got I've got two more. It's either okay. it's either uh, the the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES, uh, or no, I'll not 10. I'll go with the first Dual Shock. Uh, also not on the top ten. Wait, Nuts. I do have a guess. The first Xbox controller. Not on the top ten. The Duke, no. Dude, okay. is 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 the Dual Shock Three on here? The Dual Shock Three is at number ten. Y'all are fucking wild, man. That controller sucks. <laughs> uh, number ten is the Dual Shock Three. Number nine, of course, is the PlayStation Two controller, uh, being the Dual Shock Two. Both. Uh, number eight being the Switch Pro controller. Seven Xbox One. Six Wii Remote. Five Super Nintendo. Four is the Wii U gamepad. <laughs> What the fuck is this list? What the fuck is this list? No, what the fuck is this list? The Wii U gamepad sucks. It's ass. Yeah, it's terrible. No that. There's nothing then, good have, or redeeming about the gamepad. At number three, we have the Xbox 360 controller, then the PlayStation 4 controller, or the DualShock 4, and then the GameCube controller. Listen, solid top three. Except for the GameCube, solid top three. I, I could see an argument for GameCube being top three. Not one. Top five. Yeah. But top three, I could see an argument. It's probably living in the top five for me. You know? At you've five. got... It's a, good, it's a good mix of iconic, it looks good, it feels good, uh, it captures a moment in time. You know? I'll say so. I, do, I do like the Xbox One controller better than the 360. No, I hard disagree with that. 
I love no, I, like... I, I love the 360. Yeah, it so feels it yeah. feels really jarring going from the Xbox One controller to the 360 controller. It feels fucking gross in your hands. I haven't played with a 360 controller in a long time, but I remember going forward, I was like, ooh, this Xbox One controller sucks. Mm. Like, I never liked it. Well, DualShock, yeah, 4, DualShock 4 is a phenomenal piece of machinery. It's good. Only outdone by the DualSense. Correct. Better form factor on the DualSense. So, you know. Controllers are, controllers are nice. I think I, I posted it in our general chat, but... Um, my Spider-Man Dual Dual Sense is coming in t uh, on Tuesday. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. I did not partake in any of the uh, Spider-Man Two uh, memorabilia outside of the collector's edition stuff. So, like the PlayStation Five plates or the controller, because I don't, I, I don't, I don't like the choice they made with making it all black or mostly black as the symbiote. I wish it was reversed. I wish it was mostly red with the symbiote coming in. And uh, that's funny. Ash said the same thing. Yeah, I wish it was mostly red with the symbiote coming in because let's be yeah, honest, you could spend most of that game in the red suit anyway. Or will you? I would be shocked if you spend the entirety of the game. Or even if you spend 70% of that game in black suit, that's weird. Well, anyway, uh, Connor, what do you have for us this week? Well, I have a game. A game where you guys are going to have to guess video game quotes. Who, now I'm I'm gonna kind of factor in how I do uh, the uh, another one of my mini games. Uh, guess that tune, guess that song, whatever I call it. Uh, where if you guess the 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 name of the song, you get extra points. This one, if you guess the name of the character, you get extra points as well. So you're effectively going on who said it and what game they said it from. Primarily, I mean, which game? For your music game, how do you feel about the title Arcade Jams? Yeah, that works. It's better than anything I can come up with. I'll take it. Hmm. Welcome to the jam. Arcade jam. But this is, uh, who said that? Who said that? So, who said that? Stingy Are you guys... said that? Huh, that's like a Family Guy joke, huh? Yeah. It is It is not like a Family Guy joke. It is a Family Guy joke. Wow, that's crazy, bro. Well, see how Who just said is? that is already tw trending on Twitter? Well, pulling away from Family Guy, since that's, yeah. when you watch that show, is not a good show. Only good in clips nowadays. Only good in clips. Really good in clips. Yes. Very great in clips. Uh, but we'll just bypass that and go to the first quote. If you find yourself in a hole, I did this one before. I have done yeah. this one before. You have. I realized that in this same moment. Thankfully, I got an extra one for no reason at all, but I guess fate was on my side. So what we was can that go line? To the next I don't even know that line. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. I've done that. Who said it's been it? been a while since I've done this game. Uh, Red John Marshall too. From yep. Red Dead Redemption. Oh, okay. I'm not, yes. I'm not familiar enough with Red Dead. All right, let's go. But let's start with an easy one to get you guys thinking caps, you know, fit it on properly. I think you did Taylor. that one the first time we played this game. Yes, I you realized that I'd done that at some point. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. Uh, Can you repeat that? A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. Buzz. How are we getting points? Is it off of character or is it off of game? Uh, game, and then you can do character for double points. Okay. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Buzz. That was uh, that was from Uncharted. No. No fuck. I'm gonna buzz and say Mass Effect. No. Uh, the first guess is that this is obviously it's uh like based off another quote said by the character in question, who is the main character of the game. That is in question. So, hey, <laughs> rephrase what? that in a way that made sense, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, so the Make quote is based off of an actual real quote, but okay. it's twisted in a way to be said by the character in this okay. exact framing that okay. I just said, which is a famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. Any other? Is in what we do, not in who we buzzes? are. Any other buzzes? Famous yes. explorer once said. What is it? A famous explorer once said, "The extraordinary is in what okay. we do, not who we are." Uh, I'll buzz and I'll say, "I got." I mean, like, I don't know, Batman. No, Welcome. no. You know, the guess will come after you, Phil. Another hint. If not Uncharted, I'm gonna say Tomb Raider. 
Who from Tomb Raider? Fuck, uh, Lara Croft. Phil, with two points, you are the... Well, fuck, you're off to a good start. It was. Then the remake of Tomb Raider. The new oh, the original? Or the no, the no, remake. The reboot, I should say. No, but I'm the... saying, like, the original, like, the one that came out in, like, 2014, right? Yes. Yes, that one. 20... One of, like, the oh, first lines said in that game. Was it 2012? It was somewhere. It was when the PS4 had just recently come out. But it was, it was also a PS3 game. game. Yeah, because it was one of so the first PS4 like, games. Yeah, yeah. So it must have yeah. been, like, two, 2012. So I remember because I played that game, and there was, like, I f finished it, and there was nothing else for me to do. Because I played in from a second son. And I was like, okay, well, here I am. Well, yeah. here is the next one. <laughs> it's going to get way easier from here on out. Okay. Moment. Yeah, it, it's going to get way easier from here on out. That was the hardest one. We're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing I was good at, but at least I always fought for what I believed in. Fuck. Fuck. I what is it? <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll buzz. Yep. Yep. I'm going to say, is that Jack from Mass Effect 2? No. No. Yep. Uh, not nihilistic enough. We're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fuck! Oh, this is gonna pit. Oh, Buzz. Uh, this is a uh, um, Metal Gear Solid Two Solid Snake. No. Fuck. It's not. No. Did I get the game right? <laughs> uh, would you like me to? Well, I guess. Well, that's a point, right? If I got the game, that's a point. No. No. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Is, are, is it hint time or or? We're not too oh yeah, yeah. You, I mean, oh, I'm sorry. I, I should do a hint. Uh, wait a second. What was the government? This isn't Metal Gear Solid Two. <laughs> hmm. We're not, we're not tools of the government or anyone else. This is when he's monologuing outside the fucking the building they crash at. He's talking to Raiden on the, in the streets of New York, and everybody's walking around them. Is it not? We're cutting mm -hmm. to, 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 to real this time. Isn't, isn't Raiden talking to his girlfriend in that one? In, on the street? It, it, both both things happen. Both things happen. He, Snake talks to Raiden, and then Raiden talks to Rose. Oh. I'm wrong. Sorry. It is Metal Gear Solid 2. You didn't get the character. Oh, fuck. Okay. Is it Raiden then? <laughs> yeah, yes. No. <laughs> Phil, do you know who it would be? Fuck. Uh, but it is MGS2? Uh, yes. I'm starting to question whether... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, then I have another guess as to who it is, but I'll let Phil take a stab. Oh, wait a second. It should be Snake, man. <laughs> yeah, so I was right the first time. God, why can't these guys give me support? And maybe... I thought Metal, Metal yeah, Gear Solid okay. fans are... So, so it's stupid. not Metal Gear Solid 2? It's the thing. I'm getting two different responses. Like, I thought it was... So is it is it Metal Gear One? No, Tavin's right with Metal, Metal, Gear, Gear, Metal Gear Solid. It, I'm literally about I'm about it, to pull the scene up. Yeah, that's the thing. It's saying in two games. It's saying these things were said in two games. The I mean, it's not surprising saying, that they were both they were both said. Yes, but the, it, it's so I guess eighty one would work. But it's a certain character who did say it. That is a that is. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say. Uh, did this person say it in the first one? Because I think. In, I don't remember I mean, at what that point, but I think I think in the first game, Gray Fox said, doesn't he? Bill with the third, ah, third point. It was Gray Fox. Okay. It, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Could, by Snake, Snake in some way. Probably. In probably. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm have, watching I, the cutscene now, and I'm going to find it. The voice modulator. I'm thinking of like the sound effect on the voice when he Gray says Fox's it. This is Gray Fox's last word. Words, which is why I was super yes. confident. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not that's tools what I'm of the government or anyone else. Yep. But it was Metal Gear Solid 2 from my mind. You see, it was the only thing the only thing I was good at. You see, I, we're getting a little bit of... Uh, I, I, I have to stop looking for the MGS2 thing because it's fucking up the Discord. Um, mm -hmm. But... Oh. Um, what was I saying? Uh, I, I, I don't remember Gray Fox's words like that. One, because I have the least amount of experience with MGS1. And two, uh, <laughs> I'm just always used to spamming the, the square button and Snake saying, I can't do it. No, That's I exactly can't do I it. No, I can't do it. Oh, God. 
Meryl. So is that well, one for each of us? Yeah, I should get, I should get two points. I'm just saying, but that's fine. But that was Gray Fox. That was definitely Gray Fox yeah. that said verbatim those words. Uh, all right. I don't need a weapon. My friends are my power. Buzz. Phil. Kingdom Hearts. Sora. Yeah. yeah Kevin. That, I that that would have been I my was, guess. He just jumped on it so fast. So like. I I, I tried to make it equal with the Metal Gear Solid one and this one first game of the series but my friends you just happen to pick up on you know the main theme of the entire fucking franchise that is said by multiple characters guess yeah. what that's exactly the case in kingdom hearts too we're not tools of the government or anyone yeah but it's only sora who would say some dumb shit like that no well here's the next one even the good leaders leaders make poor decisions it's the best leaders that take responsibility for them Ooh. That's Even hard. Good leaders make mm -hmm. poor decisions. It's the best leaders that take responsibility for them. Yep. I'm going to buzz and I'm going to say Spec Ops the line. No. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Um, would have been a great pool, Connor. I'm just going to say that. Would have been a great pool. It probably would have been. been. Not even in my, my gaming vernacular, that, that game. I don't even think Connor's played it. Great game. Yeah, I got nothing. Phenomenal got nothing. story in that game. I got nothing. This is said by a character who had a sequel to their game after many years of not getting one. A sequel to their game after many years of not getting one. A famous character said this. Give me the line again. Even the good leaders make poor decisions. It's the best leaders that take responsibility for them sequel to a game that people had to wait for in fact some might even say they were surprised that there was another game they're surprised there was another game yes buzz <laughs> rage 2 <laughs> <laughs> no rage uh... 2 you brought up rage multiple times on this channel I don't, dude it's just it's so shocking to me that they made a second one <laughs> I know sequel that took a while Ugh. for us to get i don't know you're blanking on this one phil yeah i got nothing for this one all right uh maybe this will make it a little bit easier uh this entry of the series is the fourth game in the entry in the mainline series there were spin-offs oh. there were spin-offs yep in between in the game one the game and this one can i can i ask is this one number two what do you mean number two like it's held up as game number two but then there were spinoffs no. in between no you said it was the fourth yes so game one and then two spinoffs and then game two no even good leaders make mistakes it's the great ones that take responsibility Even the good leaders make poor decisions. It's the best leaders that take responsibility for them. <sighs> People had to wait for it. Had spinoffs. Fourth game in the franchise. Well, that means it's I'll not give you another hint. One more hint. It is nowhere is four in the title. Well, yeah. It's not Metal Gear. <laughs> it's, uh, and I'll say, Connor, if it is Metal Gear, you fucked up in your hints because that's not how that worked. <laughs> uh, it's not Metal Gear. And I'll say, I'll confirm that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, leaders. Shit, man. Poor decisions. Damn. It's the best ones that take responsibility for them. Um, it's the fourth one. But there Return. were spinoffs. Return character. Return. Ooh, is this Gears? Is this Gears of War? No. no. Fuck. Would have been a decent one. Yeah, it would have been. Kevin, you'll get a guess, and then I'll give you a hint. <sighs> give me. Uh, I'll pass. I got nothing. 
Uh, the character who in question who said it goes through a massive change. Okay, very thanks, central asshole. To their character. It's very <laughs> central to their character. A massive change. Like, you can even say that they're two different characters in their games. Dude, I, this I, should I, this should be obvious, I, and it's this not. This should be so. I have made I this so like obvious. It, I feel like it's gonna smack us in the face, Devin. Yeah, anyway. I've I've got nothing, man. Uh, fuck. fuck. That's hard. Okay. Um. Character goes through a massive. Uh, let me clarify. Off screen, massive change. Yes. Okay. Though you can see, you can get the 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 seeings of it in one of the off games. Off screen, massive change. But the massive change does happen off screen. Buzz. Davin? Oh, well, I guess this wouldn't work because it, it has a four in the title, but Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I <laughs> know. Not a bad guess, though, Tavin. Because it's not... Okay, so it's not Halo. Can't be Halo. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> It's not Metal Gear. It's not Mass Effect. Not Mass Effect. Not Gears of War. I'm trying to think. Is this an Elder Scrolls game? No. May maybe? <laughs> is this a Bill, you do have the guess. It is in your ballpark. <sighs> My only thing that's tripping me up, because like, I'm thinking of games that aren't sequels or like... Because <sighs> it's a long-standing franchise. It's not going to be a Final Fantasy game. No. Because you said you said that they're surprised that this one came out. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely maybe, not a Final Fantasy game because those games are going to continue to be made forever. Ever. Maybe they were rumors of it coming out, but definitely was like a oh shit moment when it was revealed. Hmm. Hey, I'm surprised. You bu bu <laughs> Buzz. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, man. Crash 4, it's about time. Like, the fuck? Where the fuck are we going with this, Connor? Fucking... Okay, do I... Do <laughs> first, do the I... first word is that Crash speaks. <laughs> it, Bill, you... it lays poetic about, about political morality. <laughs> like, Fucking, he's going it through is... it in that game. Bill, it is your turn. After this, I will tell you guys a hint that it, I, if that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Uh, Fuck. Say Mario Kart. Film. Uncharted 4. Jesus Christ. The character's bald. What? What? Come on. It's not infamous. The character who said it is bald. It's not infamous. No hair. Uh, Phil? Max Payne 3? No. <laughs> it's 3. Ah. Oh, that is a 3. Oh, yeah. Damn, please. Come on. You can win this game still if you get it. Character's you bald? The character is bald. 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 <laughs> Dude, I got nothing. Dude, I've got fucking what? Uh, Did I mess it, up somewhere along the way? Did I, 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 I almost, like, I think I had to have. I don't think you, I mean, I don't, I'd have to know the game to know if you did, but like, I don't know. I'm thinking like GTA 4. I'm thinking fucking uh, Max Payne was a good one. I wouldn't have pulled that. Uh, also number three, not four. <laughs> well, he said fourth game, but there were spinoffs. Or were there for Max Payne? I, didn't even think I don't that. fucking know. There were um, two spinoffs. There were two spinoffs. There were two spinoffs? Yes. Shit. Ugh, fucking bald? Who the fuck is bald in video games? So many people. <laughs> there are a so lot, yeah. People. Am I allowed to guess again yet? Sure. I don't allow through this. I got nothing, man. Uh, God of War. Who said it in God of War? Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck Kratos? you. That's not the yes. fourth game. That's not the fourth game. That's not. The, no, yes, it it's no, it's not. <laughs> three main yes, lines, is. three main lines, a prequel game and two spinoffs. It's the seventh game. 
but the fourth game in the mainline series. Even like, then, the then you're wrong. It's the fifth. No, yeah. it's not. You're yes, it is. Wrong. God of War 1, 2, and God. 3. Ascension, motherfucker. That's not a, that's a spinoff. That is definitely that's a spinoff. A Bitch, cool. what the fuck did you just say? A prequel. It's a dumb prequel. Wait, you said you that. said fourth Probably game not. in the series spin-offs yeah. no matter what way you count it god of war 2018 is not the fourth game no matter how it, it, the only thing that people call it god of war 4 that's what it's called by like when it's put in the mainline series of game no one says ascension's god of war 5 well i've no, never heard it, that, it, be said that anyway. ascension is the prequel game I have, Tevin, as much as I agree with you, people do but, sometimes call 2018 God of War 4. Yes, yeah, they do. Incorrectly, they shouldn't, uh, because it's not yeah. the fucking name of the game. No, but what, also, what no matter what way you count it, it is not the fourth game. And especially yeah. because, Connor, you mentioned spinoffs, and in your own definition of the game, there is no spinoffs. It's 1, 2, 3, 2018 in your mind. No, you but had Ghost of just Sparta, wrong. and then you had Ascension. You had Ghost of Sparta, and Ascension's a spinoff. Prequel spinoff. It, is, it adds nothing. No, there's two anything. spinoffs and Ascension. You're missing another PSP game. Ghost of Sparta and... Uh, I forget. What's the other one? There's two PSP games. Chains of Olympus? Chains, Chains of Olympus. Olympus. Yeah. There's no way in... Yes, Connor, you fucked that one. You fucked that no, one I hard. Didn't. No, I didn't. You're, no, you're, you you're fucked that one. Your you so fucked that one the next year. There's no God way. Of, they call no. it God of War 4. First they of all, do. motherfucker, nobody have. calls it God have. of War they 4. Do. Nobody's they called do. it since they the do. marketing they lead do. up to the they game. Do. It's called they God of War 2018 by 99% of people. Oh, God of War 4, God of War 2018. It's a stupid name convention if you use either of those People have not called it God of War 4 since the marketing of the game. The game came out and it became 2018. That's what it became. It's definitely it's definitely got a word 2018. I have to agree, Tevin. But hey, I'll but take the point. Game, but it's the fourth game I'll in the mainline the hey, series. Hey, no one considers in... Ascension with that. Is there another one? Or no, it's still it? not the fourth game, Connor. <laughs> it you, is the fourth game. In it your hint, game. Connor, in your hint, you said there are spinoffs. There are. In your hint, you said this is the fourth game, but there are spinoffs. I'm trying to get you to, because you guys can know the game series. That's but that all I'm trying immediately, to get you to do. that immediately disqualifies it from being 2018. Because you can't be the fourth game and include the spinoffs. It immediately makes it the when sixth you, game. When, when you say, like, <laughs> when you say Star Wars Episode 3, right? Yeah. People don't, people don't factor in Clone Wars. They don't factor in okay, any of the TV but Connor, shows. Those Connor, are spin -offs. Connor. That's a moronic fucking example because it's called Star Wars Episode Three. And it's but if all I tell, episode. but what's the third Star Wars movie? Uh, the the, the Return the, of the Jedi. The sixth, one. the sixth one. Yes. What's the sixth one? Revenge of the Sith. That's that. That's how that you know works. What? Fair enough. I messed up there. God, it's God of War Four. People call it that if they don't. They don't call five. A That's like me. Is, mean, you know what this is? You know what this is? Hey, guys, this is a famous movie franchise. We're talking about the seventh game, but there's spinoffs. You know what fucking Star Wars movie that is? The 2008 Clone War movie. You fucking moron. Kevin, no one would remember what you're talking about with the 2008 Clone, with, oh, clone, clone Wars. Like, yes. Theatrically clone released. Animated differently from the show. No, it's the same. Oh, I thought there was one that no, was animated it's the, differently from no, the show. No, it's the first four it's the first four episodes of the show. Oh, okay. Well Fucking you. On to the next one. No, Tavin. You lost Oh my god, way. we got more of this shit to do. Uh, that's right. what I was just asking. I was like, hey, I'll take the points. Is there another round? Or? <laughs> yeah, one more. Do a barrel roll. Buzz. Fuck you. Bill. Eat a dick. Right. Suck a fucking Star cock, you fucking Star piece of shit. Star Fox. Peppy hair. Damn. Yeah. I, 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 for some reason, I thought you wouldn't know the character. No, it's Peppy Hair, thing. dude. Peppy Hair. Tavin, you're you're reminding me of your father. <laughs> Doesn't he die? His father? Peppy. Peppy dies eventually, yeah. Yeah. Any of them can die. In, dude, in every, everybody loves the seventh Res uh, Resident Evil game, Operation Raccoon City. 
but people call it see you're you're proving your own point when someone says resident evil 6 they don't factor in code veronica and they go oh they, well that technically is the you know in the mainline series so we got to put it in there somewhere Connor, no raccoon city came out before resident evil 6 i think uh, i'm well, totally it, pulling out i'm totally pulling that out of my i could be wrong right I, I say resident evil 7 but like it's still the, the same talk. it's still the same point like you're just wrong <laughs> like you're 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 factoring in ascension too much. That's the only way that you could possibly miss. No, Connor. This is the no, game. Connor. I'm factoring in any game that isn't the trilogy, because you said spinoffs. I still don't get that. So anyway, I mean, spin spin that was that was guess the quote. Uh, who I said won. That? You did who, who, who said that? Yeah. That was uh, who said that? Hey, I won. Uh, good, good, good job, Tavin. You were a good competitor gracious in 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 a defeat i uh listen I, I do phil you it. beat me you beat me good i i have some discrepancies about the metal gear solid round but connor fucked us that was a bad hint and he fucked it i don't know what you're talking seems more like he fucked you you didn't get it either you just took a shot in the fucking dark i did take a shot in the dark <laughs> it's true then he um, got it i was like bald and you know newer game that people were surprised by i don't know anyway phil Tavin. let me talk let me talk to you about the second game in a franchise that had spinoffs kingdom hearts 2 it's not the second game people call it is a second game everyone calls it I mean, kingdom, it's kingdom hearts, hearts 2. 2 but you're, but there's, there's two there's games kingdom before hearts. it <laughs> but no one no one considers kingdom that hearts when they're thinking one, of like there's game kingdom one hearts or two. chain of memories yeah, that's why everyone always separates spinoffs from the actual mainline series. Spinoffs are negligible at the end of the day, even if they have important stuff. Not in but if you, say, if you say sequel game, but it's the fourth game in the franchise, and there were spinoffs, nobody is thinking about the fourth game. They're thinking about, okay, so the spinoffs make it a thing, so this is like the second or third game then. Dude, if we, if we factored in spinoffs any other time... But you so did! Common. That's I, my I point. I, you I did the, it. I just said there's spinoffs to get you to level it down. I didn't say that was part of the num the numerical order of things. I never specified so, that. Oh, moving on. Tavin, you have another hit ten for us. God, week. we're doing a fucking hit ten. Top ten video game performances, man. Works the same fucking way. Number ten is one point. Number one is ten points. They each get fucking five turns. All right. Now, Tavin, do fucking I have your word? Shit. Scouts honor. Scouts honor. You are not going to misinterpret my positioning of my guesses connor get fucked get in the ass today. well i that's not a good confirmation of that I i'm pulling the game informer list by katie savelle oh top 10 God. memorable characters voices in video games okay and we're going phil you go yet. first uh, uh uh i i will accept uh mm, it gets tricky with one entry but i'll accept i'll accept character names character names yeah okay i'm gonna i'm just gonna shoot uh nathan drake nolan north Nathan Drake Nolan North is number eight on the list, granting you three God points. I know. I know. Mm. So repeat the, 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 the thing we're guessing. Top ten memorable character voices in video games. Yes. And we don't have to do the... It was still just doing the, the voice actor, just because he wanted to. It, get, it gets complicated, but I'll accept character names. Okay. Go with Mario. Mario, and, and I'll say, I shopped around for this list. I went through a whole bunch of things because there was a bunch of lists that I thought were some bullshit and, and should not, were just wrong. Uh, this is the best one I could find. Mario is number nine on the list, granting uh, two points. All right. To me, iconic video game, memorable video game character voices, Mario's number one. That's fair. I was just thinking of like actual like lines, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll go. This is not. Uh, this is not based off performance. It's based off of memorability. Memorability, yeah. Memorability, but of course, okay. performance affects. You know, it skews it greatly. Sure, sure. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm just. I'm still stuck on performances, so I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Femshep from Mass Effect, Jennifer Hale. <laughs> That is the that is well yeah there you go you said it Commander Shepard specifically Jennifer Hale is what they is what they quote uh, is number four on the list granting Phil a whole seven points. Good I'll one, take good it. Good one. Hmm. 
I got a stupid guess, but I, mm-hmm. I'm gonna hold off on that one. Let's mm-hmm. go with the. Uh... Okay, what's there, uh, this? Should be so much more obvious to me. There's some Let's... real obvious ones that I would shoot for first. There, I'll say there's a couple on this list. Well, there's one that I've straight up never heard of, um, and then there's uh, uh, a few that I'm like, really? All right. Let's go with Glados. Mm, that's or. a good one. Glados Connor is number one on the list at ten. Points. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Okay. That's surprising. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't agree. Glados was on like all of the lists, though. Mm-hmm. I don't understand that. that. Um. Well, but... she was in Pacific Rim, Tavin. Don't you know that? No, I. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. She's the launching voice. Um. I'm still stuck on performances here. I can't. I can't. For some reason, I can't think of like. Oh, this person was memorable. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go David Hater for Solid Snake. Solid Snake David Hater should be a top three answer, but on this list it is number seven, granting four points. Okay. Connor, your third pick. Yes, yes. Mm. Mm. I forgot. What was your first pick, Phil? Nathan Drake. Uh, Nathan Drake, Nolan North, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. I think one of the characters is Kratos. But which one? Uh, let's go with Christopher Judges. You gotta, you gotta say Christopher Judge, right? Kratos is Christopher, Christopher Judge is not on the list. Mm. That's such a bummer, dude. Yeah, that's a real bummer. I mean, uh, I disagree. He, he, but, you know, you got to work with you, what you got. Do they not remember the four, the four and a half minute game awards speech? Come on, <laughs> <laughs> man, that lasts forever. Was um, it four? I thought it was like seven. I think it was six minutes actually. Oh god. Um. It's again the next one I think of. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's not really through a throughout the entire series. It's really only in one game. Tavin, have I ever asked you what the definition of insanity is? I'm going to go Michael Mondo who plays mm. Voss from Far Cry 3. Uh, that Phil, that's a, that's a pretty decent guess, but unfortunately, Voss from Far Cry 3 is not on this list. Damn. That's unfortunate. He deserves it is. to be. It is. Good old eh. Michael Mondo. I'm just not, like, I don't know. <laughs> not top no. 10 for me. He's up there. It was cool. It's a memorable villain. Not top ten. There's a there's a lot of like things absent from this list that I would rather have on than than other things. Um, Let's go with Duke Nukem. That's a great example, I Connor, of a memorable voice. Uh, but Duke Nukem is also not on this list. Mm-hmm. Going into the final no round. Way. Going on final round, yeah. Going into the final round, I'll go ahead and I'll put the hint out there. One of these characters does not originate from video games. Uh, see, okay, that, that tells me that that's kind of where I was thinking for my next one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot uh, Mark Hamill as the Joker. Yeah. Mark Hamill's the Joker is on the list at number three, granting Phil eight more points. What's the points at right now? It is 22 to 12. Yeah, that's not why I'm going to win that. Let's go with the. Uh, the crazy one that I was like, okay, this shouldn't be on here, but maybe it is. Claptrap. Oh, that would have been a good one. That would have been ah, a good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Claptrap is not on the list. Uh, so, as of right now, uh, the list is, or uh, the score is 22, Phil, Connor, fuckboy who doesn't know how to count video game entries, 12. Uh, <laughs> I'll be. The list in its entirety. Number 10. They 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 did a two a twofer, which I disagree with, but it's close enough. Atlas slash Frank Fontaine from Bioshock. Yeah. Uh, number nine is Mar- Mario, Charles Martinet from the Super Mario series. Number eight is Nathan Drake, Nolan North, Uncharted series. Uh, Connor got Mario, Phil got Nathan Drake. Uh, seven is Solid Snake, David he- Hater from Metal Gear. Phil got that. Number six, Sam Fisher, Michael Ironside, Splinter Cell series. Really? Oh yeah. Real, real iconic voice. Really all iconic right, voice. Right. Right, right. right. I mean, just below, just because Splinter Cell isn't as important to gaming as Metal Gear, but just below David Hayter as okay. Snake. I think Snake should be above it, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. Next, Connor, you'd have to tell me if this is iconic or not. Uh, Balthier? 
Gideon Emery from oh, Final man. Fantasy Twelve. That guy has, like, first of all, one of the coolest video game characters. Uh, yeah, that, that he deserves on that list. All right. Number four was Commander Shepard, Jennifer Hale's uh, 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 performance, Mass Effect series. Uh, Phil got that one. Number three, The Joker, Mark Hamill, Batman Arkham series. Phil got that one. Number two, surprised it didn't come up, Master Chief, Steve Downs, Halo oh, series. Oh, Steve Downs. Yeah. I need a weapon. Yeah. And then number one, GLaDOS, Ellen McLean, Portal series. Connor got that one. Uh, yeah, this is the best list I could find. Every other list <laughs> fucking sucks. <laughs> it was some trash ass picks. This was a good list. This, yeah, this, uh, this is a solid list. I think this one's solid. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not, uh, they're not, not great. Not bad. Yeah. There's some changes I would do. And if you're talking memorable character voices to me, Mario should be number one with a bullet. From there, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't I'm know. Probably we Solid Snake. Steve Downs with uh, Master Chief. Yeah. The solid Snake, Master Chief, Commander Shepard, Sam Fisher, Nathan Drake. All of those make sense. Uh, I'm shocked we have no Joel from The Last of Us. No Ellie mm-hmm. from The Last of Roy Us. Baker, yeah. Um, Ashley Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Uh, either of those would work. I think Troy Baker deserves a spot on this list somewhere. And if you're going to give a Troy Baker a slot, it should be Joel from The Last of Us. You um, know, what's funny is is I don't think, when I think Troy Baker, I don't think uh, Joel from The Last of Us. I think uh, the male voice from Saints Row. That's funny. Yep. Yeah, I, I forget he's even in that game because I think I played that game as Nolan North. <laughs> um uh, cause yeah, I, 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 Joel, ba- or if you eliminate Joel for Troy Baker, the next thing I go to is Tales from the Borderlands. Oh, uh, okay. Reese. Which is interesting, but anyways, that's the game. Phil, you won. Connor, eat a dick. Learn how to count. I count right. Well, actually, you know what? I don't, but I was right about this one. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode of the piggy bank. Of course you can catch us. Every Sunday, quote unquote, every Sunday, uh, going live on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash two penny games. Make sure to uh, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash at two penny games. All of the other links are in the description, of course, all of our personal socials. Please let us know who you think has the best uh, video game performance of all time. What's your favorite uh, video game controller? And uh, what number release is God of War for you in the franchise? God of War 2018 for you in the franchise. What number release is that? Please give us your your information. Please do. Uh, As always, thank you guys so much for joining me uh, for the Piggy Bank. And we'll see you in the next one. Boys, let's say goodbye. Goodbye.